today, two families stood in a Saskatoon Court of Queen's Bench hallway, one of them crying tears of relief, the other crying tears of sadness. It's after Taylor James Wolfe was found guilty of the second degree murder of James Carlson. Now, this is a historical murder case dating back to 2008 in Watcher, Saskatchewan. The trial took place here at Queen's Bench in June and heard evidence uh, pointing to Wolfe being the person who shot and killed Carlson at his home in May 2008. Now, Carlson disappeared on May 14th, 2008, and to this day, his body still has not been found. I just spoke to his elderly parents, uh, Alan and Marilyn Carlson, and they say that although they do feel that today provided some closure, the real closure will not come until James Carlson's body is found. Um, sentencing was adjourned until uh, next month, September, to allow the Crown and Defence to argue for parole eligibility. Second degree murder carries a, a mandatory minimum sentence of life in prison, but the parole can fall between 10 and 25 years. So they'll have to argue how many years of uh, ineligibility Wolf should have. The gist of this story is that uh, Wolf and Carlson were acquaintances through the drug scene in Watrous, knew each other, and would often go over to each other's homes to either purchase or use drugs. And that Wolf had hostility towards Carlson. Um, Ju Justice Gerald Albright finding that there was a motive for Wolf to kill uh, Carlson because there had been a, uh, a preliminary hearing where Carlson was actually supposed to testify against Wolf on drug charges. And ultimately, Justice Albright found that Wolf was making comments to several people from the area, several of his friends, saying that he had killed Carlson after confronting him at his home. At Saskatoon Court of Queen's Bench, I'm Bree McAdam for the Saskatoon Star Phoenix.